that's the news for this hour. Okay, it's 6 o'clock right now, and the temperature is a comfortable 76 degrees here in Santa Barbara. For tomorrow, it looks like we can expect the weather to be a lot like today. So maybe some of you marine bio majors are going to want to plan on spending a few hours at the beach tomorrow for purely academic purposes only, of course. Which reminds me, don't forget that the Sigma Iota Honorary is sponsoring a real old-fashioned clam bake at the beach tomorrow night. Just bring your student ID and fill up with all you can eat for only three seventy-five. Now that is a bargain, guys. Mm. Okay, Jake Mitchell will be sitting in here in a few minutes to keep this place alive. Before I sign off, guys, just remember, it is almost Friday. So what do you say we all celebrate? Woo! You're gonna miss the good part. Sure. <laughs> I can't believe it. My son, the disc jockey. It's pretty good, isn't he? Hmm, certainly sounds like he's having a good time. Hey, today, a small radio station. Tomorrow, Tom Brokaw. Move over. <laughs> well, he sure sounds confident. So, uh. Grown up? Yeah. Do I feel it seems like only yesterday coming All out? right, Eden. All right. I'm huh? just teasing. Talking about us when we're kids is a God given parental right. I think Mom could do about a half an hour on how I lost my first teeth. I think I might call her tomorrow. This evening. Good. Good evenings at the worst times. During the day, you can keep busy, you put your worries out of your mind, but when nighttime comes... She doesn't seem to talk about being worried, but I'm sure she is. She's got to have a lot of feelings, like... Is the treatment working? Can the cancer come back? She must feel very alone. Sure, she'd love to hear from you. Honey, I can't just call her out of the blue. Yes, she can. Eden, you know what I'm up against? She doesn't want me to know. But you do know, so go ahead and tell her. I mean, she'll be angry at first, but at least she'll be talking and she won't feel alone anymore. Honey, it's only going to make it worse. She's not going to trust me. What I say or what I do, she'll think I'm doing it out of pity. How do you know that's how she'll feel? Because. Because that's how I feel. Is that all you feel? Is pity? No. More like the realization that life is too short. And I've wasted a great deal of mine already. I'm sorry, ma'am. You have to wait outside. Yes, but, but I'm here to see Mason Capwell, and he's expecting me. They're in conference with the DA and some other people. Oh, hi, Mary. Hi. Is court still in session? No, but apparently there's some sort of conference going on in there. I'm Inspector Castillo's wife. Is he in there? Yes, he is. Could I just go in and tell him that I'm... No, I'm sorry. There's no interruption since the judge's orders. Your Honor, it's a letter dated today and written to the defendant. You've seen the letter? No, I haven't seen it, but I was told about it. All I need is a warrant and I can get it. Your Honor, I hope you're not going to delay these proceedings on the outside chance that the opposing counsel can retrieve some supposedly incriminating note. I don't think there'll be any supposition about whether or not it's incriminating. How can you be so sure it exists if you haven't seen it? Your Honor, Honor, Mr. Capwell is confident that he has a reliable source and can show probable cause for you to sign the search warrant. This seems like a wild goose chase. Your Honor, the letter will establish an involvement between the defendant and another woman, thereby establishing another motive. The affidavit will support probable cause. All right, I'll sign it, Mr. Capwell. Oh, Your Honor, please. But if it turns out that you've been wasting this court's time and no such evidence can be found, I won't be pleased. I assure you, Your Honor, it will be found. <laughs> What happened? You don't want to know. Tell me. Mason claims that there's a letter proving your involvement with another woman. Who? He's still harping on that Sheila Carlisle connection. Oh, that's ridiculous. She even told him herself there's nothing between us. All I know is that Mason has to have a search warrant in order to get access of that letter. Just for the record, there won't be anything that he'll find that can hurt us, will there? No, of course not. Okay. Well, then if it's a phony, we'll prove it. You're damn right we will. And when it's time for the defense to take the stand, I want to be your first witness, okay? What's the matter? I don't plan on having you take the stand. Okay, okay, okay. Your, your timetable might be a little different than mine, but Julia, the way Mason's steamrolling us, we got to make our move soon. I mean, I don't want you to take the stand. I don't think you should testify. You're not serious. I'm very serious. You're not going to give me a chance to tell my own story? Our case is better served if we point out the inconsistencies and testimonies of the other people. Oh, come on, this is insane. It's a very common practice, really. Sometimes the sanest and safest course is for the defendant to remain silent. 
And I'm sorry, I've decided that this is the route we're going to take. Oh, you've decided. You've taken my life and my future and you've decided... With your best interest in mind. Now, you have lied too many times to the police and those lies are way too hard to explain. No, you may not testify. Oh, I see. I see. So I'm supposed to just sit there with my mouth shut, listening to people lie and misrepresent me and never once getting the opportunity to say, this is how it really happened? Well, that's suicide. That's like giving up without a fight. And I'm not going to do it, Julia. It's wrong. David! Why don't we see if we can get the babysitter for tomorrow night and we'll go out then, okay? Listen, I'm sorry if I spoiled your evening. No, it's all right. With Cruz's job, it's always something. We barely had enough time to get married. If it makes you feel any better, I got stood up tonight myself. You were? Yeah, I, uh, my sister was supposed to have dinner with me and her boyfriend showed up. It happens. Yeah. Well, can you imagine choosing a boyfriend over a brother? Oh, I choose the brother every time. You do, do you? Yeah. you? swear that in a court of law? Sure. Well, I'm still a brother. How about having uh, dinner with me tonight? You're calling my bluff, aren't you? Yeah. Well, no, I... I think I should go home. Why not open a can of chicken noodle soup? Please, let me make up for messing up your evening. Okay? You hired a babysitter. Why waste it? Okay. When you appeal to me on an economic level, I can't refuse. <laughs> <laughs> I got my briefcase. It's funny. What? Even though uh, the room is empty, it's still filled with energy. It's like like the chairs and the, and the wall are, are waiting for everything to start up again. Yeah, it's sort of like being backstage after the show is over. Yes, that's exactly it. You know, we're not the first two people to see the similarities between the stage and the courtroom. And every trial is like a, like a new play. Mm, new script, different actors. Exposition in the beginning, conflict in the middle. Some kind of resolution in the end. I guess that's what got me into it. Or the grease paint. So tell me, what kind of an actor are you? Do you raise your hands and try to make the the jury weep, or are you the quiet and one control type? Why don't you catch my act yourself, then decide? Sure, I, I'd love to. Just promise me a front row seat. What's that? It sounded like someone was trying to get in. Everybody's gone. After you, Mrs. Castillo. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Uh, that someone that you thought was trying to get in actually fixed it so that we can't get out. <laughs> it's locked? Who is it? Detective Castillo, Santa Barbara Police. Just a moment. I'll be right with you. all about we have a warrant to search these premises miss carlisle this is mason capwell with the prosecutors yeah office. we've met cruz what are you looking for i have an idea that you didn't tell me the whole truth the other day when i was here about what about your relationship with david loren there is no relationship there's nothing to tell you can't imagine what you're hoping to find proof that you had an affair with david written proof this is preposterous let me see that warrant See, the judge seems to agree with me that finding out you and David were lovers would go a long way towards strengthening his motives for murder. Well, I can see you're prepared to do anything, Mr. Capwell, to win this case. What's in here? 
Haven't you ever seen a hat box before? Once or twice. When you're finished, I plan to let the Santa Barbara police know that I am not happy about having my privacy invaded. I know you should do exactly that, Miss Carlisle. Santa Barbara police invaded. <laughs> what is this doing in there? Oh, my appointment calendar. Well, I've been traveling so much, packing and unpacking. Give me that. I beg your pardon. Mason, you want to take a look at this? Dearest David. Hmm. My, my, my. But that's your handwriting, too, isn't it, Ms. Carlyle? What was the most romantic thing that Daddy ever did to you? There are so many. We'll pick one. All right, I remember a time that I decided I wanted to have a flower garden. I was going to be a little garden out back. But, of course, I went crazy. And I went out and I bought... Shovels and hoes and rakes and scads of seeds, almost all of them daisy seeds. And your father wanted Reuben to help me, and I said, no, no, I won't have any part of that. And I dug and planted and watered and mulched. I really just planted scads of seeds. I went absolutely crazy. And everyone really laughed at my magnificent obsession that my green thumb knew no bounds. Wouldn't you know, Eden, they all came up. All my daisies bloomed. They were beautiful. I had them all over the place. Then we had probably the worst storm you'd ever had in 50 years. I got up the next morning, and they were gone. Oh, All no. of them were gone. They were washed away. My heart was broken. I didn't want to say anything to your father because you know him. He was busy, and he had an important meeting. And that was the day that you and Kelly were going to camp. So I thought, well, I'll just put this out of my mind and get the two of you ready for camp, which I did all morning. And that afternoon, I drove you to the bus. And when I came home, I put my key in the door, and I started to push the open, and I couldn't. Get it open. It wouldn't budge. I kept shoving. What was wrong? Daisies. Daisies. Thousands of daisies in the atrium. They were everywhere. Eden. They were in pots and baskets and hanging. The place was filled with them. And your father was standing in the middle of all these daisies with one in his hand. Oh, Mama, how beautiful. We stayed all night right there. <laughs> Oh, it was wonderful, and I always thought... What? Maybe Ted happened that night. It's so good to know how much joy was between you. We had so much. Kind of makes you think it could be like that again, doesn't it? I don't care. I'm not going to let you stay in some scroungy motel. Ted, what? it's just because the nice ones are full this evening. I don't care. Now, you're going to stay in your old room tonight. I, I'm sure your father would really appreciate me staying here when I don't work here anymore. My, my father doesn't even have to know about it. Now, come on, this is much better than you just going off to some place you don't even know where you're going to go. Okay, now, come on. Come on. Just be quiet. Don't even have to know that you're here. Thank you, Ted. Uh... No, look, you just said that you left some stuff here. Well, I uh, did. Hey, Dad. I heard you on the radio tonight. You did? Uh huh. I could discuss your performance. Well, I want to know how you feel about the job you did tonight. Well, I'm still trying to get the hang of it, Dad. I mean, they usually say it takes like three weeks. Oh. Well, I hope you stick to this, son. I think you're well suited for it. You do? Mm hmm. You have a nice, easy, relaxed, self assured style about you. As far as I'm concerned, you don't need three weeks to settle in. You're a natural. Yeah? Thanks, Dad. Oh, one more thing. Uh, about that music? Yeah? Why don't you pick something with human lyrics? <laughs> I mean, that, that song you signed up with, that's pure animal gibberish. Fine, I'll, I'll take that under advisement, Dad. Hey. I'm proud of you, son. Keep hey. it up. Where do you think you're going? Look, I'll call you, okay? You can bring my suitcases wherever no, I go. No, 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 no. You're staying here tonight. Dad, I can't. I'm, af I'm afraid of your father. Why? Why are you so afraid of my father? I can't help it. I I'll be lying awake all night wondering if he's going to come in and kick me out. No, no, that, that is not going to happen. Oh, well, yeah, why not? Well, because you're going to stay with me at night. All night. All night? Let me. Jim.
judge's chambers are locked, too. You mean there really is no way out? I would imagine eventually. I mean, the janitor has to show up sometime. In the meantime... In the meantime, what? Let's play. I got a pencil and piece of paper. Tic-tac-toe. Oh, I'll beat your hands down. Yeah? Yeah, I play all the time with my son. I'm an expert in it. Forget it, then. I don't want to lose I'll bet you really are like that. I, I mean, in your profession. You don't get to be a district attorney by losing. Have you always known what you wanted to do? You mean since high school? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. I had uh, an uncle that was a lawyer. He used to talk to me. Got me into a legal clinic one summer. I guess I've been hooked ever since. I remember you paid such good attention in class. I had a feeling it would pay off. That's what you thought, did you? Oh, you took an awful lot of notes. I wanted you to think. What were you scribbling? Hmm? <laughs> Keith, <laughs> I asked you a question. Tell me. Tell me, what were you what were you writing in class? I wasn't writing. I was drawing. You were drawing what? Likenesses of the most beautiful girl in the high school. I think I caught the nose, but I don't think I caught those lips. You were drawing pictures of me? Mm -hmm. You were the most beautiful girl in the school. I wasn't any such thing. Yes, you were. But you only had eyes for crews. I can't tell you how flattered I am. You know, we could be here all night. Oh? What would people think then? Cruz would kill you. Yes, but then all the dreams I had while I was drawing you would come true, wouldn't they? You didn't dream of me. Hello. Oh, Mr. Timmons. Uh, Sorry, I'll come back. Yeah, lock the door on your way out and throw away the key. <laughs> No, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> After you, Mrs. Castillo. You know, I did have dreams about you. Still do. <laughs> you know, I smell a fish in Denmark. How do you mean? Well, this was too easy. We walk in, 30 seconds later, we not only find what we're looking for, we get a bonus. You think she wanted us to find this? Would be the first time a scorned woman tried to set some poor guy up for a fall. Whose side are you on, anyway? <laughs> Had a chance to check with Julia yet? I've left messages everywhere. She's going to need some time to deal with this, Mason. Yeah, I'll keep trying. Okay, make sure you do. I'll uh, hit the road in that case. Thanks for your help. You bet. See you later. Hi. Oh. You're here. You're early. I didn't think you'd be here yet. I had uh, better luck than I thought. You look beautiful. I missed you. I don't think our table's ready yet. Well, it's just as well. I suddenly have no interest at all in dinner. <sighs> you too, huh? Yeah, you know, this place all of a sudden feels kind of oppressive. All these people. Yeah. Keeps me from doing what I really want to do. Well, let's get out of here. I didn't know you were working tonight. I'm I'm not. I'm having dinner with my mother. Oh, great. You... Estás preciosa, como siempre. <laughs> Dale <laughs> recuerdos. Edgar. Sí. El otro día. Continúa. Me seguiste hasta casa. ¿Y qué? No voy a decir que no quería que entrases, porque sí lo quería. Lo deseaba con todo mi corazón. Pero tú tomaste una decisión. Yo la respeto. No fue fácil, ¿sabes? Sí, lo sé. No es la primera vez que digo esto, pero ahora es verdad. Yo no quiero hacerte daño. Intentaré estar al margen. 
No va a ser fácil vivir sin ti. Pero lo intentaré. Puedes ser feliz sin mí, sé que puedes. Lo deseo. Mereces ser muy feliz. Gracias. No, gracias a ti. ¿Por qué? Por ayudarme a hacer... lo que debo. No me las des. Tú nunca harías lo que no debes. Por eso me enamoré de ti. Te diré por qué me enamoré de ti. Tuve miles de razones. Except I can't count that on. You have a lot to give. Don't hold it back. You gotta find something with somebody. Just... Just make sure that he's worthy of you. I can't really talk about this I'm anymore. I'm sorry. That's ridiculous. I'm sorry. Um, good night, yeah. want Mason to cross-examine you. Julia, I can handle myself with Mason. He's a master at it. He'll twist everything around so the jury won't even know what to think. Well, I won't let him. If my case has momentum without you testifying, then we're going to play it my way. If I feel that we're losing ground, then you can testify, but only as a last resort. That's the best that I can do. I'm sorry. I get so... Desperate sometimes. We both have a lot at stake. I know what this could do to your career. I'm not worried about my career. If the unthinkable should happen and they bring in a verdict of guilty, I'll be losing a lot more than a client. You're not losing me, Julia. I won't let that happen. No, don't do that. Uh, the trial isn't over Come yet. On, don't ask me not to Please, I'm you. having a hard enough time handling things as it is. I, I need to focus on one thing and one thing only, all right? You don't know how I've been wanting. Don't stop. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm, I'm sorry. No, it's my fault. I was rushing you. It's not you. I just love you too much. I love you too. And I want you. Roughly tense. I, I shouldn't be. Well, we only had one night together. And so much has happened since then. You feel any differently? No. No, I don't. just need you. Remind me that... that it wasn't a dream. <sighs> You're so good to me. You're so gentle. You have to be with precious things. It's gonna be all right. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be all right. Do, do you love me? More than life. Then you'll make it all right. No, Julia, wait. David, I told you I have to go. We have to be back in court tomorrow. Listen, you forget? I, no, Alyssa, I, I want you to know something. What you said before about if... The unthinkable were to happen. If I were to lose... Don't. I'm sorry I no, said... No, please, it. please. This Don't. is important. In spite of everything I said today, I know that there's no one else on earth that could defend me as well as you. And if the verdict does go against me, I know that you will have given me everything you could. Okay? 
Everything except a guarantee. <laughs> How do you thank someone for giving you hope? For helping you believe in yourself when everything is going against you? You made me want to do that for you. I have to go. No, please don't go. David, I thought I explained to you that listen, it's so difficult for me. Listen, listen to me. If at the end of this trial, they take away my freedom, I want to know that my last days were spent living, not just marking time. I can't do it your way, Julia. I love you too much. Well, that's it, ma'am. You must have cleaned out the whole county. Mm, they're just beautiful. Thank you very much. Well, enjoy. I will. Thanks. this daisies i know they're daisies but what they don't you remember oh my yes i remember how did you know about that how do you think such a long time ago I'm surprised that she ever remembered some things you don't forget you're right, honey. Some things you don't forget. you did for me if it hadn't been for you i think i would have been afraid my whole life of what of i don't want to talk about it right now you are all that there is and all that i want there to be i won't argue with that so much about taking chances I used to just stand back from life you know I thought if I wanted something it was bad for me well there was a time when I would have been bad for you I still got a long way to go but I think there's hope for improvement Who is that I don't know don't go away. <laughs> Coming. Who is it? Officer Stephen Russo, you requested a subpoena. Thank you, Steve. Have a nice evening. It has to do with the trial. I didn't think I'd be able to get it before morning. What do you have to do about it? Should be delivered as soon as possible. You have to go. I don't want to go. I don't want you to go. <laughs> this night to last forever. There'll be other nights. When we're married, we'll have every night of the year. How long does it take to get an annulment? 
I guess it depends on who's reviewing your case. I suppose a man of God would take umbrage if I offered him a large bribe, huh? Mm. He might. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I've never had anything more worth waiting for. Check. Not bad for a guy who doesn't have his mind on the game. <laughs> Check me. <laughs> I won. <laughs> Aren't you going to congratulate me? Yeah, isn't this where I jump over the net? I believe that's tennis. Oh. Well, then I'll just have to come up with my own way. I... Uh, we can't. Come on, I've been staring at you for two hours solid. What do you expect? You promised me this wasn't going to happen. I'm sorry. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ted, it's late. Let, let, let's just blow out the candles and go to sleep. Oh, darn it. There's only one bed. I knew this wasn't going to work. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. I promise to be cool. Okay, we'll just figure this out. Um, I'll sleep on the floor. No, oh, Ted, I can't let you do that. I don't even have a quilt up here for you to sleep No, I'll go to the living closet. I think there's plenty of blankets down there. Oh, no, there. Don't, don't go. I mean, your father might find you and ask you what you're doing. We can be mature about this. We can share the bed. Um, you'll sleep under the covers, I'll sleep on top. Are you sure? I could always go to a Mattel. No, 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 that's okay. Fine with me. Just, why, why don't you sleep under the covers and I'll sleep on top. couldn't get you to talk to me here, I thought I would try my luck with you under oath. Mr. Capwell, I have nothing to say. There was no affair. That doesn't really explain the letter then, does it, Miss Carlyle? A letter is not an affair. Don't protect a killer. She doesn't sit well with his subsequent victims. David is not a killer, nor a philanderer, despite what you might think. Now, if you want your jury to hear that tomorrow, then go ahead and call me to the stand. I'll look like a witness for the defense. The defense doesn't even know you're going to be called yet. I've been trying to reach David's lawyer all evening. You mind if I just uh, use your phone and try her again? Oh, I'd say no, but you'd probably just show up with another warrant. <laughs> yeah, Augusta, it's Mason. Has, uh, has Julia showed up? No, huh? did she uh, did she leave a number this time where she could be reached? No, huh? Okay, no, 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 that's all right. Thanks, Augusta. Well, she's still not home. I wonder if she could be with her client. It's awfully late, but you uh, you never know. 
I'll just uh, try his number. <sighs> David, your phone's ringing. Yeah, will you get it, please? Okay. Hello? Yes, there's no one home there either. Uh, there's a phone call for you in the uh, bar. Excuse me. I'll give me a minute. Santana? Yes? Could I talk to you for a minute? I know you must hate me. I don't hate you, Eden. Or resent me, then. But I don't blame you. I've taken a lot of Cruz's time lately. I've monopolized him, in fact, when he should have been with you and Brandon. What is your point? My point is that I'm not going to do it anymore. I was frightened of Kirk, and I needed Cruz. And it... I'm just trying to tell you that it was me. I'm the one that got him involved in all of this. I don't think Cruz was all that reluctant. Santana, I needed him. And almost out of habit, I... Habit has nothing to do with it, Ethan. You were still in love with him, and you're in love with him now. I told Cruz tonight I'm not taking away anyone's husband. Consciously or unconsciously, Santana. You can't take away a man's heart when it already belongs to you. That's not true. Cruz made his choice. He chose you. Duty is so touching, isn't it? not. Why do you think she did all this? Well, I think that's uh, pretty obvious. You must have had a good laugh. Why would I laugh? I don't know. I'm just surprised you remember. I remember everything. And I remember a lot more than you think I remember. Why did you, uh, why did you ask me to come here? What's wrong with looking back on the good times? They were good times. We can't go back. What about going forward? Do you mean that? Sophia, I don't know if it's possible, but maybe we could at least think about the future. I don't think about the future anymore. And why not? Why waste time speculating if you can live in the present? At least you know where you are. You can make the most of every moment. And how about just thinking about tomorrow? Hmm? I used to do that. I used to think about maybe it would get better next week, next month, next year. It didn't make me happy. Sophia, please don't go yet. Thank you. The flowers, they are so beautiful. They don't last, you know. The best things never do. Sophia? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, yes, sir. Mm. There's somebody knocking at your door. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Hello? Uh, 
to your champagne? Uh, um, I don't think we ordered any champagne. Who is it? It's room service. This is room 614. Uh, hold on, let me check. Uh, David, did you order any champagne? Champagne? Yeah, the, the room service is here. They said that this room ordered champagne. I wish I had thought of it, but I didn't. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, could you check another room? But sorry to disturb you. It's okay. Was that okay? Perfect. Just perfect. Uh, excuse me. I, I have to go if, if you need anything. What are you doing here? I got your message from the babysitter that uh, you were here. I thought maybe you needed a way home. I had a way home. Apparently. <laughs> Listen, after I fouled up your dinner, I thought the least I could do was buy your wife a meal. It was very delicious. Thanks again. Anytime. Um, sorry I put you out. See you, Bruce. Oh, no problem, Keith. What's going on? You has just been a gentleman. And besides, it's been a long time since I've spent a nice evening with a man alone, Cruz. I'm going to let that slide since that's not what I meant. Then what did you mean? I mean, what's going on with you and Eden? I came in here, I see the two of you. Are you having some kind of argument or something? Oh, it, it looked like that? Well, what is going on? Well, why don't you go ask Eden? You know what? Thank you.